Hello, hello, wanted to do a small short video today just to explain what to do in case your travel authorization was um, not accepted and it was denied. And of course, there is no reason because CBP1 or UCS do not give any reason. But what I did in my case, because we are a case with my cousin, her two kids of uh, successful uh, humanitarian parole for Venezuelans. So we submitted her parole application in October, her and two kids. And uh, hers uh, travel authorization was accepted and the two kids were denied. Then I reapplied. I resubmitted the uh, I-134A um, application again for both kids. Then we got uh, the travel decision for one of the kids, the um, bigger one. So for the minor, Sebastian, we didn't. So I reapplied again a third time. Um, I filled an I-134A for Sebastian. And then we finally got approved. In between them, I had to ask for an extension for my cousin Gabby because her travel decision was going to end. So I had to ask for an authorization and we got it. So we had Gabby with an extension, Valmore was okay. And then we were missing the travel authorization for Sebastian. So we finally got his approved um, travel authorization. And now they're here with me in my very small apartment, but everything is okay. We filed for the work permit and we are working for the work permit. Sebastian is already going to school and I will update you guys with what the school asks and everything, but it was very easy, in fact. So here we are, um, a very long process. You need a lot of patience. You need a lot of, uh, well, believe that you can and believe at some point you will solve it because if your first file of I-134 was approved, then it was just a, a, like a mistake from the computers or whatever. There is no really reason to have CBP-1 deny the authorization. So just reapply. Good luck. Bye-bye.